All right, town lore. There is actually a text file which I'm supposed to read before I start the game. So I will show it to you guys before we get started. I, I, I guess. I regret taking copy. Okay. I regret taking copy of this game from my work. It took from me that what was most important to my in my life, and soon it will take my life as well. One day we were called to inspect certain apartment neighbors were somewhat worried and decided to call police. The English here is terrible to check things out. We first tried to call him out, obviously with a vein. We force open the door and found a lone body sitting in front of PC. It goes without saying that guy was already dead. When we entered, we secured the body and all possible evidence. We also took hard drive from PC to search for eventual clues that would help us uh, figure out what was the cause of death. Unfortunately, we didn't make any progress in that case. Nothing really suspicious back then. We looked into his HUD, but didn't or HUD, and didn't find anything interesting either. No documents, no logs from IRC or med communicators. Nothing besides the OS files. We all we all we found was a single folder titled Town Lore. As it appeared a moment later, it was simply a PC game. Seemingly pretty boring too. After the game got closed, I secretly made a copy of the game to give it to my son. I believe that such simple game would be satisfactory for a young kid. Although gameplay wasn't anything fancy, he strangely enjoyed the game. One day I even noticed him playing secretly in the middle of the night. I scolded him, but deep in my heart I knew he'd still play it despite that. And so he did. Next day, he looked kind of scared, however. I didn't really notice then back then. I asked him jokingly why isn't he playing his game. He answered that Pandora is resting. He went back to the game later on, somewhere around 8 a.m., I guess. Day after that, he rushed to me to say that someone's locked in the game. Obviously, I did not believe him, but I checked the game anyway. However, when I tried to continue the game, it crashed. I decided to try playing new game as well, but there was no gameplay. I reinstalled the game and noticed that there was actually a save state there. If I couldn't play a game from beginning, then at least I could continue from where it was still playable. I didn't know how to progress in the game. Though that's when I made a mistake and posted the game online to find someone who'd help me figure it out. That is also the time when some strange things start to happen to my son. It's hard to describe, but it seemed kind of paranoid, I think. And then it happened. I found my son lying on the ground face down, dead. It didn't look like he killed himself or anything, he just died for no reason. Then when, that's when I realized that similar thing happened before, in the case we closed lately. It was all because of this game. He played it and died soon after. My son played it and died a few days later. By the time I discovered my son's body, I already found out what could possibly lead to their death. I don't think I can save myself anymore, so all I can do is give you this warning. Do not play this game at late night. At all costs, do not go into the forest. Follow the rules. Alright. So we have our game here. It seems to be an RPG Maker game, honestly. It's creepy pasta excuse. Let's get our creepy pasta hats on. Yep, no one lives forever. What happens if you stream the game? Do you all get cursed too? So it says there's nothing if you go to start. Yeah, that's obviously a broken game. Not working, can't do our magic. Must be glitched. Better take out the cartridge and blow into it. No, that's not gonna do anything. It's an RPG Maker game. Alright, continue. You, I guess? File 1. Hey, it doesn't look bad for an RPG Maker game, to be honest. 
No. It has the time. Like the actual time on my computer right there. Maybe you're supposed to play this game at a specific time? Do you guys think maybe you're supposed to play this game at a specific time? Because that is the time on my computer right there. So maybe if you play this game at a specific time, something will happen? Is that what type of game this is? Something to think about, definitely. But hey, it's nighttime, so that's probably good. Do some exploring around here in the meantime, then. Can't actually interact with anything, so... Yar yar, Captain Turtle. Howdy! Fortunately, we're not going to the mainland now. Well, that's a shame. Let's see what else we can discover. I can't talk to anybody. It's a cat person. I don't know if they have cat ears. I'm not like, sure why. It's, oh, you press up to, like, try the doors. Let me see if any of these doors will open. This was my room at the beginning, right? Okay. The doors need to be checked by pressing up. Not like interact button like you would think they would. This door's openable. I can't seem to talk to anybody though. At least there's no button that's immediately obvious in which I should be talking to people with. Oh. I didn't know you could do that with RPG Maker games. Holy hell. Um, anyways, let's go through here. Let's uh, try going to that forest they told us not to go to. Despite the fact that this might not count as late night. Where I am, it's only 8 p.m. Or 2100, as they're saying there. But that's not really late. That's more like a normal time, I guess. Like normal night. Locked. What about what I expected? Alright, yeah, let's uh, see if we can go inside the forest or something. I'm guessing this lawn trek over here is going to be the direction they want me to go to. Sorry, Miss Pandora, but going into the forest is strictly forbidden. I honestly do believe you're supposed to play this game at a specific time. I could talk to the police officer. Why can't I talk to anyone else? Or interact with anyone else? Can I interact with anyone? Here we go. Why, good day to you, Pandora. You look fine, as always. Poo -poo -poo. You have to stop moving and talk to them. Doesn't work if you're moving, apparently. What do you want to do? Cancel. Saving in progress. Fancy. So to interact with things in this game, you need to stand still. Got it. Like you. You also have to be standing on the tile in front of them and facing them. I heard stories about some strange person vanished in the forest. Why? I don't know, Nian. Such a bad cat pun. Rihanna? Do not disturb me, puny human. I want to go to sleep. Okay. Can I read the sign here? Maybe. I could change the time on my clock, but I do like it being set as it is. Hmm. Maybe we should come back to this sometime when it's a later time out? I should really move to the mainland. Probably it's midnight or something, because it was late at night or something, I um...
If this is all the kid could do, then that's my doll. Why is everyone else in the game animals anyway? Well, I'm gonna go save my game then. That's fair, I could do that, but I don't know what time I'm supposed to set to is one thing. Start here. Alright, so we obviously need to change my clock time for the moment to try and take advantage of this. Let me go to my own system settings. Ah, uh, saying my clock layer is going to be a pain. Let's say it's just about, let's say it just is about to become midnight. Okay, okay. Well, actually, no, it's about to become 1 a.m. I have changed the time. All right. Continue. File one. Things to look different, I'll give it that. Hmm, I must ask Rihanna for a favor. Hmm. Is it daytime? Oh, hello there, Neon. No, it thinks it's 1 p.m. I changed the time to the wrong time. It's locked. Well, at least I only changed to 1 p.m. to see what would happen here. Do you like apples? I don't. Howdy, unfortunately we're not going to the mainland now. Let's see what rooms I can enter inside when it's 1 p.m. Locked, so I can't enter inside there. I'm pretty sure this is my house right there. Yo, Gas John is quite something. I stayed up until midnight once and he was still there guarding. It's locked. What I'd like to do in your spare time, Pandora. I, I like to chase b, b butterflies. This is so pretty. Hmm. Sorry, Miss Pandora, but going to the forest is strictly forbidden. Let's change the time again. I kind of want to see what changes with this. Of course, the doors are locked. The town seems smaller in the daytime. That's probably just my imagination. People and each other there. Alright, let's save my game, because it does track time of how long you've been playing. And as well... Exit. Let's change it to 1 a.m. See if this saves and does it automatically. Yeah, this should be 1 a.m. The people are gone. No mainland adventures for me. I bet it's like 3 a.m. or something. But hey, at least now I know I can just kind of go around and mess around at different times if I want to. I mean, yeah, everything's gonna be locked, but the police guard the dog is still gonna be there. Let's take a look. Yep, he's still there. Sorry, Miss Pandora, but going to the forest is strictly forbidden. Well, that's a mighty goddamn shame. I'm now gonna switch it off to 2 a.m. and see if we can get past him at that period of time. 
Alright, and that's all about. Do you want to do save? I'm thinking that's probably around 3 a.m. too, because that is the reference to ghost time. I have no idea how the creepy pasta kid story could. I mean, how I, I can't see myself being entertained with this game for that long. If there's some more hooks there than maybe, but. All right, change day and time. Just for curiosity's sake, I'm gonna switch off to two forty-five a.m. or two fifty-five a.m. Let's try this. And out. Still seems pretty much the same, to be honest. People going after the mainland, at least. Maybe there's something you need to do in order to. I, I said, eh. Maybe there's something that you need to do to get past him, though. More than just, like, waiting for the right time to go out with him. I will try 3 a.m. in a second. We're going to first, uh, play around with something. He's gonna probably still be there, though. Well, he's sleeping. Here we go, we made it. Go to the left first, because I'm silly. So he sleeps at close to 3 a.m., got it. Going in this direction is not doing me any good. This seems like a typical creepy video game stuff, I'll give it that, but. I'm probably looping. You guys think I'm actually getting anywhere with it? I don't think I'm getting anywhere with this. The background is looping, so it kind of feels like I am. Walk there for a second. Part of me wants to, says I should probably turn back, part of me thinks I should probably keep on going. Well, obviously the music, but it just sounds like game music. It's not like creepy, it's like your video, old classic retro video game version of creepy. It sounds kind of epic, actually. I would consider like working in a certain game dungeon scenario. How the is getting close to 3 a.m., so... Maybe if we stay here until then? Hopefully? Alright, yeah, that direction's obviously not leading me anywhere, I think, at this point. So. Going this way. Uh, we'll let the clock do its countdown for the last two minutes, I guess. They're less now, obviously, because it's already been at 58 for a little bit. See if anything's going to occur at 3 a.m. I think it's part of the music. Yeah, it's probably part of the music. I am curious. What or what may possibly occur? The pickup music to it. Alright, we should only, at least until 3 a.m., we only have a little bit more time to go. Don't see what's creepy about the forest yet at all, though. Oh, wait! Here we go, deeper forest. Let's go. What do you think we're gonna find? Oh, the time's glitching. Hey, we're coming down to the other side. It's very vibrant here. Not sure we can see it. Interesting screen effect, though. 
The petals are kind of nice. It's like a sakura blade of things. Hmm. There's a person. He's got little bars over them, because why not? Ah, they don't have to speak English. That's fine. Someone translate. You think here? I can't. You think you should. You sh shan't be here, is what it says. But yeah. You did not obey. By the princess? Queen? Queencess? By. I can't remember what it says. I can't go past them. Let's go backwards. I can't run anymore either. And the noise only happens when I get close to this person. What are they anyway? It's kind of hard to tell from here. The frog? I don't fucking know. Oh, the way we go. There's some pretty cool effects going on though, give them cred there. Pandora is sleeping now. Try again later. Pandora is sleeping again. Try again later. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I work her up by changing the time. Good idea there, ever so, yeah, for you suggesting it. Things look a little weird for her now, though. What do you want to do? Save. Saving in progress. Let's see what's going on here. I am greatly disappointed with you. Liked us, you want us to die. It's a lot. It's a lot. We are perishing, it's all your fault. Hmm. You mad at me too? are locked though, so that's fine. I thought we were friends. I mean, dog, I've already been to the forest. Oh! He made us fucking wall to prevent me from going any further. I guess we just have to go on back. Think of it like a creepy pasta game for those just coming in. To the main, uh, can I get to the main game yet? Let's find out. Let's see what happens if I try going to the main game now. <laughs> ah, main game still is nothing for me. See any further here? Someone saying, how is it a creepypasta game? Well, first of all, there's a text file in the game telling a creepypasta story. 
That said, that said warning, and you're supposed to read it before the game. And it's obviously very much designed with that in mind. What happens if I change the time when I'm actually here? Then I move us ahead to 7 p.m., for example. Uh, experimentation going wonderfully. Why have you done that? It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It's locked. It's your fault, bitch. Alright. It has been about an hour, actually, so... We'll be back with this interesting but odd game in about 60 seconds. Be right back. That's my room. Let's try you then. What you've done? Why have you done that? Okay, that sort of message. Just kill me off already, traitor. Okay. The rest is okay. I don't want to die. Okay. Barricade wall is still there. Cool. Let's go forward by another hour. Experimentation, ahoy! One hour later. Hey, it starts to rain. I don't want to die, that sort of thing. Lock because why not? Doesn't seem like a lot's changed. I will save my game though. What do you want to do? Save. Saving in process. Let's exit for a second. I want to see if I can get to the actual game now that everything else is getting all glitched up. Start. That part's still messed up. Alright. How's all my favorite town people doing? I'm the talk of all the town. I'm this popular. By another hour. Inject it. It's your fault, bitch. I'm not changing the dialogue or tone, though. It's just that uh, things around here are getting a little bit interesting. Check some things about as well. Ooh, my room is a mess. What do you want to do? Save again. 
This is what I like doing in my spare time. Hey, maybe they all secretly love me. Maybe if I keep on going, they'll show me their dare side in no time. You know, the more you push, the more you love. Let's see if the brick wall here is still established. Why will be established until a certain time? Well, let's push time forward by another hour. Going on to 10 p.m. now. Not extreme enough, another hour. 11. Ah, the people just disappeared. It's locked, you don't say. You know, it's just the time of year where we all do our own thing. I'm actually kind of intrigued because this is an RPG Maker game. I'm wondering about some of the coding they did to do this. It's very interesting in that sense. Hmm? I guess what you need to look out for then is things. Let's move it forward by another hour. Past midnight now. No, no, this got closer to noon. It needs to be AM. What do I do to kill the people? This seems suspiciously normal. Is the wall still there? <coughs> Sneeze, of course. Well, let's see if we can change some stuff around. What happens if I switch off to 3 a.m.? Nothing? 3 p.m. Did I kill the people? They definitely seem to be gone. What if I go backwards in time to 12 p.m.? And go up to 1 p.m. Let me try to go in this in order. Then 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Six. I should check on that wall, because obviously I need to get back to the forest somehow. Now all my animal critter friends are dead or gone or something, so... Not much for me to do in the village, just this goddamn wall I need to face through. Maybe I can get rid of it if I do something though. Let's switch to the moments in 11 before midnight. 
like 55. Closer, 58. If we can wait about a minute 15 seconds, let's see if we can do this. Will anything change? Will all change? Let's see if I can quickly go save my game and come back outside for it to happen. Time though, so make sure Mr. Captain hasn't returned. No jumping out to sea with us, I guess. Alright, in 30 seconds will be midnight in the game's time, so let's go this way. You don't say it's locked, because I hadn't noticed. Alright, we're about 12 seconds away from when it becomes midnight in this game's time. Time's going crazy. It's probably a good sign, but also a bad sign. Huh. Not what I expected. Why? Again and again. Did I not redeem myself? Let me cut her out already. Just let me die. Oh. It's scary. Script game interrupter line name occurred. Let me die already. Start first of all. Maybe I need to go at a different time. Everything in this game is about time. Let's move it up to 1 a.m. We're not giving up. I feel like there's more to dig here. I'm actually liking it, and I'm kind of thinking to myself, I, I, I kind of would like it if there was a bit more there. It's an interesting concept. It's actually, I mean, obviously it's still game, and I'm not, I mean, I did get a little bit, uh, but it's interesting. It's probably the most creepypasta, creepypasta game I've played personally. As in the game that actually feels most legitimately like it's related to a creepypasta. I feel like there probably is two is the thing. But how would I dig deeper into this game is what I'm thinking about. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel, and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.